Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's start the timer. Uh, a beding. A beding. So, uh, so TNT, you know, a lot of people around the world with all the things going on in the world, you know, uh-huh. we, people complain about what the U.S. doesn't do right. You know, some <laughs> of our policies, some of our laws, some of our changes of laws, yada, yada. Very, very timing, a timely uh, yeah, I sentiment mean, well, to come I mean, across. I mean, this. who knows when this is going to come out, so it may not be quite timely. <clears throat> but anyways... Um, so there was a question on Ask Reddit. What did the United States get right? Okay. So does anything in your mind pop off as like what, what, we, what we have right, you know, or what we do right in our country that somebody uh, might think that, you know, we do right compared to like F those guys because they're crazy. Wow. What do the Americans get right, Jonas? Um, I would have to say is that for the most part, signage on the roads it, oh yeah okay it's pretty I would good say, yeah, yeah i'd say traffic that. traffic lights work pretty pretty consistently yeah 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 you know? um being uh i know uh our uh heating and air conditioning because like when i went okay. to like uh england they don't really have air yeah yeah know, because right? like it doesn't really need it and now with global warming like yeah. they do need it and they're screwed because their buildings don't have it um so i'll go i'll go through some of the comments the, like the top rated comments on this thread one the first one the best comment public lands it says between federal gov- government park services forest services bureaus of land management fish and wildlife lands yeah. all that stuff uh you know areas for like hiking and camping and bird watching and biking and skiing okay they, they, i guess in other countries that's not nearly as good. and i'm like you know that's actually really good okay okay uh the second one is, this is a guy from australia he says i think the entertain it entertainment he goes people talk crap about the u.s but the entire world listens to our music yeah. watches our tv shows the movies the movies you know we have entertainment that's, facts. On that's true so um the next person says they do jazz very very well so i guess we play good jazz music I, I do have <laughs> an i'd have like an issue though with uh kind of with the with the entertainment thing okay is that it has been <sighs> Even entertainment industry has been perverted to a certain to a certain extent because right. it is so lucrative. It's like if you look at some of the deals that even the uh, the acts get, they're always skewed towards the the industry or the uh, the producers. Not even the producers, but the uh, oh what yeah. do you call it the the radio? What do you call the it? companies? The entertainment companies? The yeah, they have a name though. Um, Me, I don't know. I don't know. I know what you're saying, but anyway, but you're right because because here's the thing, especially if you're not already famous, the labels you, you want that first payday, and they know that you're willing to give up yeah. anything to get that yeah. first payday. And already, that's taking advantage. Oh, of a an thousand percent. They're not, like, do you want to be famous and be rich or not? Now, mind you, when a person comes into their own, like, especially we're talking about music artists, I guess, exclusively with this one, but you know, when a music artist has nothing except for you know hope. Like, hey, I think we can make you into a star, and it's well, going right. to take it's going to take an investment on the labels on the label side to even jumpstart that career. Right, right. Yes, you have to take that in consideration, but still, you know. Well, the other thing, and I think this goes with like athletes too. Okay. Do you feel not, taking- not every athlete or musician or whoever is educated or smart. So, so like, if you're someone from a very poor area, whether it's white, black, Hispanic, whatever, and you have nothing. And you're uneducated, but you can play a guitar well, or you can rap, or you can whatever. When you go in to sign that contract, you don't know any better either. The, and, and with athletes, same thing. A lot of times, athletes go to college and they don't got to take all, any. All they know is sports, right? And then so it's like, yeah, oh, huh, run you to the ground, run your body, and then they get out of sports. But does that make it any better? Honestly, I feel like that makes it worse. Well, right, that's what I mean. It's like it's a – the system is set up for people to be used and disposable. Yes. We're going to suck as much as we can out of you, and when your career is over, and bye. It, and essentially, those people aren't doing any of the work. Like all the physical labor is being done by the, the artist artists, or the, the athlete. Right, yeah. And they're basically just saying, okay, well, I guess I'll pay you. <laughs> if you perform for my company right. by doing all this work, putting your body at risk, putting your health at risk, and one time, and once they stand up for themselves, they're gone. I mean, look at like um, even the the situation that with Kesha, 
like she what with Kesha? uh she was like you know she was known back then her reputation was like party girl like whatever all that pop stuff it all started when Seinfeld snubbed her <laughs> right right and then uh and then like whatever happened she had a disagreement with her producer and i mean there's rumors that he was like manipulative sexually what i mean i don't know the whole story but essentially she was he basically controlled all the rights to all her music and sure. the rights to record her and so basically her career just stopped because mm-hmm. she couldn't record any more music without this guy's permission or something and so she had like an eight year like hiatus wow. just because she stood up to him finally and was wow. like i don't like how you're treating me or how this is working or you're abusing me or whatever the yeah, i don't know the whole story but, but, but she but she signed the papers but right? she signed a contract yeah. so she was and that was the whole court battle britney spears thing mm-hmm. like conservatorship like hey you're not mentally stable we're gonna take your rights as an adult away so you can then fight to get them <laughs> back like Hey yo, I'm, I'm gonna leave Britney alone. Yeah, yeah, but, <laughs> but, but I mean, but like, there's but, all those things. I got my own ideas about Britney, and yeah. it might be unpopular. So, I'm just well, or say. Ath- athletes, man, it's like, hey, you're this huge superstar athlete. We're gonna pay you the money. You get career-ending injury, yeah. Yeah, you see and this? then they just forget about you. See like, it all the time in the WWE. Yeah, NFL was a big one because a lot NFL of their contracts sure. aren't guaranteed and stuff. So mm-hmm. NFL, um, NBA. Yeah, you like, oh, you get hurt. You're you're a star running back. You blow out your knee. Bye. Yeah. Who's that? Who's that guy? Steve who? You know, it's like Where where do we start at though? Cuz that was that was a, that was a tangent. I was going around Oh, what the it. US does right. Okay, okay. So yeah, so entertainment while we do do we do produce entertaining things, I still think that the entertainment industry needs a little bit more regulation. So yeah. the entertain the product amazing. Yes, give you that, but the system a little flawed. Um, let's see here. The The next two are basically handicap accessibility. Uh, people said that most people don't probably realize this, but when you go overseas, particularly to older cities, it can be extremely difficult for people with disabilities to get around here. Really? Every new building has to meet a standard yeah. so handicapped people can get in and out easily. Yeah. And that was, that was the act that was brought in, uh, in the eighties, I believe yeah, Clinton yeah. administration. And then, uh, the down there free public toilets in Europe, you have to pay to go to the bathroom. I agree with that. Like, I think yeah. that should be yeah. a thing. Um, so it's probably cafes and restaurants them... open in the afternoon, like two to five. Okay. Okay. Um, do we have free public toilets? Really? Yeah, we do. I've never. I, I mean, like, you could go to like you could just walk into McDonald's and go pee right now if you wanted. Yeah, but they have to have a toilet there for the employees anyway. Yeah, but so. you could have one in the back rather than it being yeah. in the front. You okay. know what I mean? Like, because okay. like when I worked at, at Blockbuster, we didn't have a public toilet. It was in our back room. But we would let people use it if they asked. But... I was going to say, I've definitely used a toilet at that Blockbuster. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I've definitely um, used a toilet at Blockbuster. So, I, mean, that, I mean, the list just kind of goes on with a bunch of random stuff. Air conditioning, barbecue. You know, it gets less and less. Okay. Like, you know, okay. gas stations. Like, it says glass stations, like, they use Quick Trip as an example. I guess Sheets would be another one. Where you have, like, made-to-order food and clean bathrooms. And you can get, yes. it's like a truck stop. You Flying Jays. Anything. Right. You can go in there and Loves. get a goddamn shirt if you need a shirt. Like, yeah, yeah, they're like mini WalMarts. Right. Exactly. I have to say is that if, if that's an America only thing, which I, I really kind of find it hard to believe, but I guess it might be. Yeah, I guess maybe that is that is a pretty good system. Like yeah. the person that came up with the idea of just like, hey, yo, put a mini Walmart for truckers, and they they love those places. Yeah, and now you pay a premium, right? Like to, for yeah. the convenience. But yeah. if you're like if you're traveling and like you shit your pants or something <laughs> and you need a new pair of pants <laughs> that old adage yeah <laughs> that old story Jonas. you know yeah. you, you shirt yourself as you're driving across the country always and you happening. need some new underwear you know you don't got to get off the beaten track most of the time you can find a a, a truck stop and they got gotcha. you <laughs> exactly you need a new tv to plug into your electrical port to watch while you're driving because that's if they got, yeah, they got yeah. one of those. Well, I mean, how else are you going to comfort yourself after you shat yourself in the car? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you're just driving around, you got the IBS. Yeah, you got the <laughs> you got the IBS and then you get out there. But yeah, dude, I think, you know, there's a lot of things that we do really good here yeah, in America. And I, I feel like a lot of those things get overshadowed because people are always going to highlight the things that they don't like versus right. the things that they do like. And then America is built with up of so many different individuals and everybody has an idea of how things should be run and you can't make everybody happy no not at all not at all so. but anyways uh go to crazytown.com that's where we live uh for jonas TNT. Uh, we out